Hey kids, Bald Magic Guy here. If you're watching this video, chances are you are a budget-minded individual, or maybe you're just a cheap ass like me, and you've recently purchased some of these puppies. And you can't friggin' figure out how to hook the wire up to them. Well, if that's you, you've come to the right place. Because I was in the same boat. I, uh, I bought these going, hey, these are nice and inexpensive. They're not, they're like a quarter of the price of everything else out there. Um, and I didn't need anything expensive. Um, I just wanted some easy way to plug my wires in. So um, I bought them, took them home, sat down to make my wire ends and couldn't figure it out. And I found out I'm not alone. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of bad reviews on these things because people couldn't figure them out. A lot of modifications. The problem is that uh, the little chamber is only like an eighth of an inch deep. A little over, what, three millimeters? And uh, people were modifying them. They were boring out the, the center and making the thing deeper or they were tinning the ends of the wire uh, just so that, uh, that you'd have something to bite onto. Well, I'm here to tell you it's it's not that hard. Um, I went to bed frustrated, woke up the next morning and the light bulb went off or on or something, which amazed me because I'm not a morning person. I uh, tested my theory, sure enough, it works. And I'm here to tell you that you can get these things on and it's super easy, really. Um, the hardest part is putting the screw in, so I recommend getting a magnetic screwdriver. Um, you want to take the screw all the way out, and you'll see why in a moment. Um, so I've got the screw ready to go there. Strip off about a half inch, uh, a little over three millimeters, I'm sorry, 12 and a half millimeters uh, of, of insulation. So, and then twist the heck out of it, get it nice and tight. And then all you gotta do is fold the stripped portion in half so that you make a little hook like that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, where is it? Find the camera there. Um, but that's just, that's a half inch of insulation, or a half inch stripped off, folded in half to make a little hook. The goal is to hook uh, the screw now these things you got to have the uh, insulator on uh, before you put the screw in otherwise you won't get it on so put this in here and to keep everything in line just take another banana plug and put it in the stack hole by the way the hole if you're not sure what that is or didn't know it's called a stack hole which uh, the purpose for that is to allow you to um, hook up more than one cable to a single port. It's just an easy way to connect. So you just uh, put a banana plug in the hole for your second cable and then plug this into your single port. Voila, two cables in one port. Uh, kind of slick. You can do two, three, four, five. So you can get a whole chain of them going here. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but hey, if, if it's up to, if it's your yours, go crazy. So anyway, okay, so we got the screw out. It's on the screwdriver. Uh, which is magnetic and it's uh, ready to go. Um, what you do is you take and you gotta be able to see in the hole when you're doing this. I'm not gonna be able to do this for the camera, but you want to be able to see the middle part of the hook go past the hole. That way you know you've, you, you've hit home. And it should be a snug fit. These things are rated for uh, 14 to 18 gauge cable. I'm using 16 gauge, by the way, and uh, it's gone past the hole. Now all you got to do is just hold it in place lightly. Take your screw on the end of the screwdriver and um, hopefully not drop it. Put it in there ever so slightly and turn to get it started. Okay. Once you got it started, which I didn't start. <laughs> this is the hardest part of it. Um, all right, there we go. 
And once you feel some resistance, you can let up. We can stop a little bit, make sure it's it's on there, and it is. And once you feel the resistance, you can let up and get a better grip. Okay. It's that time of year my sinuses are going crazy, so I apologize for the sniffling. But once you got that sucker in there, you're good to go. That sucker's not coming out of there. It's nice and snug. You may have a little play on the, on the insulator, but that's just moving back and forth um, against the screw. Um, but crank it down best you can. That sucker is not coming out of there. I guarantee it. Well, I guess I can't guarantee it. You only paid what, ten bucks for the pack? I don't know. Whatever. I guess you were more than that. They were still pretty cheap. There you have it. That's how you uh, connect the wires. Um, not that difficult. Just make yourself a little hook, cram it in there, put the screw in. So, uh, hey, by the time you watch the end of this video, you could have had four done. So, go crazy. Peace, love, happiness. Cheers.